Hi, I'm Andrea Viscontis. I'm a neuroscientist and an opera singer turned director. And I want to share with you today my favorite breathing exercise. So as an opera singer, I often experience stage fright. And when I do, my breathing gets shallow, my heart starts racing, my, you know, everything gets super tight. And that's all part of what we call the sympathetic nervous system activation. So your internal organs, so what controls your heart and your lungs and everything else, are controlled by a part of the nervous system called the sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system. And these two sets of nerves um, are in balance with one another. So the sympathetic nervous system, in it, all of the nerves act in concert, like an orchestra. And so when you start to feel afraid uh, or, you know, you feel really angry, you might have activation of this system. And so all these things happen at the same time. The parasympathetic nervous system, which controls rest and digest, is much more independent. So you can have, you know, breathing that's separate from heart rate, etc. So the reason I'm telling you all of these details is because it's important to understand that when the sympathetic nervous system is high, it's activated, the parasympathetic nervous system eventually will rebalance it out. So that if you go through a period of feeling very panicky, what's going to happen after that is a release. Sometimes just having trouble breathing can set our sympathetic nervous system going and it can send us into a panicked state. Now, Breathing is an amazing ability because we, most of the time, are unconscious of our breathing. But we can also take over that function and consciously control it. And that's the beauty of breathing exercises. We can take something that is so tied to our emotions, so tied to our ability to survive, so often unconscious, and bring it under control. So, how do we do that? Well, one one exercise that I like is a little bit counterintuitive. Ta usually when we feel like we're not getting enough air, we're out of breath, we want to breathe more. But actually what that happens is it just essentially goes against the natural way of things, which is that we breathe unconsciously or automatically when our lungs are emptied of air. We can take a much deeper breath if we start from essentially a vacuum. So my favorite breathing exercise is one in which we get rid of all the air we already have. <sighs> Expel it all. That usually takes some time for one thing, which is already calming. But then it also opens up space for all the good air to come in and for the natural kind of, or the, the um, unconscious, involuntary action of breathing to take over. So, what, what I would suggest is that if you're in a, in a moment where you're having a panic attack or you're not getting enough air, try first to expel out all the air that you already have. And that essentially fools your brain into thinking, huh, the parasympathetic nervous system, our rest and digest processes now are activated. So it puts everything in a different rhythm and allows you to get more air. So let's do it together. And um, I thought maybe one piece that we could sing together is Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Because often I use this calming technique when I'm trying to put my kids to bed. <laughs> and I don't want their sympathetic nervous system activated. I want their parasympathetic nervous system activated so they can get some rest, so that I can get some rest. So let's start with the breathing exercise in which we expel all of the air. Then we let the air come in naturally and then we can sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Here we go. <sighs> twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are.
Hopefully now you're in a calmer state.